Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight, welcome back to another episode of RimWorld. When we last left off, our little colony was doing pretty well, we're doing some adventures, uh, we recruited a child who is now doing all of our manual labor. Uh, what the heck happened here? Anyway, so you know, that's a, that's a thing we've got going on. We should of course continue to work on making sure that they're the best the best dang kids they can possibly be uh, we're also stealing this guy's uh, this poor lone tribal person uh, excuse me I mean attacking my colonists he's still neutral I mean we're doing him a favor we're harvesting his his stuff for him Surely he can't get mad at us for that. What are you guys doing now? Pray on your own time. We have quests to do. What? What fire? Oh! Oh god. Didn't realize that was going to be a problem for you. That's a little annoying, to be honest. Okay, calm down. Let's get to, uh... Let's get to where we need to go. You know... I, I hope it's possible to extract genes. I would love to be able to get rid of the pyrophobia. I'm gonna go ahead and steal his uh, sleeping bag. You don't have to kill me, man. I mean, I get it. We, you know, we just sacrifice or uh, we desecrated a important religious monument. But my God, it's got to be it's got to be a better way. Anyway, now to go desecrate someone else's important religious structure. For fun and profit. Alright, our drug empire is coming along nicely. Though, what I really should do is get the, the stuff in here. Then we can start, you know, setting up crafting rooms and such. So, actually, maybe with that in mind... I mean, I can't imagine we're going to have a lot of smoke leaf on us at any uh, any particular moment. Smoke leaves, and next door we'll put the finished product. Because again, I can't really see us having that much. At least not with our current operations. All right, so yeah, we haul all this, and we'll reinstall you over here. And if this is going to be the crafting room, which actually gets me thinking, maybe keep this as one big room. I'm going to forbid these for now, because I don't actually want them to get built. Uh, you know, it's actually not a problem. We can go ahead and deliver by and by. And when you're done with that, you can move this over here. But that didn't say cooking level, did it? I'm not getting cooking experience. Maybe I am. Seems a little weird, but okay. Uh, no, I don't really care about the Empire of Perfection. Though, again, as we've said before, I do kind of like, uh, building these things just because they have interesting shapes that encourage me to be a little more creative than I usually am. Alright, another day, another shrine to desecrate. Oh, good, and we can also desecrate this granite sculpture here. So we can bring back some important materials. To facilitate our continued expansion. Expansion in this case being the walls that will hopefully keep raiders from killing us too easily. Alright. Hack the terminal. Oh, I didn't see you there. Ooh boy. Oh my god, we took his head clean off. 
All right, let's uh, go ahead and have Katja deconstruct that. We'll, of course, take these with us when we go. Oh, wait. Trago, you survived. And we cut off your right arm. If we cut off your left arm and your both your legs, then... Now, we can never recruit this guy, but, you know, you would be a perfect blood bag for us. So I'll take you. I mean, it's pretty cruel. 27-year-old female. Uh, probably didn't really expect this was going to be her life. All right, never raids showed up. And it, what? Oh, bloody hell. All right, we're never going to get the time to, to tear that down. Oh, no, we might, assuming we have two hours in between raids. Assuming it takes less than two hours, that is, in order to deconstruct this. I want that granite. It's mine by right, damn you. All right, come on. Get in here. Faster we... Faster you let me kill you, the faster I can... get to tearing apart that granite statue and then going about my business. Man, you're not really good at this. But then again, neither am I, so I guess, uh, you know, that's... not saying much. I don't really care about recruiting you. All right, my friend. Okay, accidentally shot the person who's already lying on the ground. That's uh, kind of embarrassing. All right. Gotcha can head home. I'm, I'm gonna trust that Iris can, you know, handle this. And she did, so that worked out. All right, I'm gonna fast forward until we get out of here and I will see you shortly. Okay then, so we're back, <clears throat> and things are kind of coming along, which is good. So, lots of food. This uh, this poor guinea pig is dying over here. Haven't managed to tame him yet, unfortunate. Let's go ahead and feed them up. Poor little guinea pig. All right, someone will hopefully get around to taming them sooner or later. I feel, I feel terrible about this whole situation. Not great. All right, we're gonna have to reorganize our freezer by and by, and hopefully get all this cloth carried inside. That would be, would be real nice. Uh, you know, link everything up together. It looks like we're actually gonna need a lot of textiles. Oh dear. That's not good. Local guinea pigs are going mad. Probably... Probably have an idea of what's going on in here. Alright, let's, let, let's see if we can tame this guinea pig. Get things going back to the way they should be. Please, okay, I was gonna say, please tell me you're not gonna get beaten up by a guinea pig. That'd be really embarrassing for you, and for me, quite frankly. Oh boy. A lot of work still to do, don't we? Uh, you know what? We actually have a reasonable amount of plasteel, so I'm gonna go to my my next plan, which is to have all the exterior doors be auto doors. I might actually do the same with the interior doors. Oh, that actually was the plan. Well, now I feel kind of stupid. Oh well, that's life. It happens. And. We brought a prisoner with us, did we not? I know that Trog guy, or Torag, or whatever his name was, died, did... Really? Really? 
Oh my god, no one's even uh, taking care of you. Are you alright over here? Yeah, her spine's broken, so that's gonna be kind of beneficial to us, because that means no mental breaks. Works out pretty good. In our unholy colony we've got going on over here. Also, don't give this guy hemogen. Don't do it. Just let him sit there in his forever, uh, torment. What happened to this guy? Oh, he's got mechanites, apparently. All right. Good for him. Gonna be deaf rest time soon enough. All right, our prisoner is being brought in. And your entire job is just to be fed upon. I'm sorry. You know, it's, it's not much, but it's a living. I mean, we'll feed you and eventually make a proper bed for you. Maybe even put you in your own room. Ooh, boy. I mean, you're gonna get fed fine meals. So, you know, it's, uh, it's not great, I'm gonna be honest with you. It's not great, but, uh, we gotta hurry up and re-recruit this guinea pig. You know, I'm almost wondering if we could afford lavish meals. I don't want to push it, but I feel like lavish meals might, uh, might be nice. Jealous, huh? Well, you know what they say about jealousy. It's not good. Is there a reason you're hauling to these instead of, uh... Instead of over here? Like, there is room. I don't get it. Oh well. Oh. Okay. Is this a problem that's going to solve itself where the kid's just going to get so high they're going to pass out? I mean, that's some really irresponsible parenting. On my part. But, uh... You know. Yeah, we, we need the blood. Oh boy. Do we have any uh, good artists? No, we don't. That is unfortunate. Oh, she might pat. Okay, there we go. Okay, it all. It all bounced out. Just, just a little space weed and everything balanced out. Okay. Really, uh, really not a good, really not sending a good message to the children, but, uh, alright. Okay. Alright, uh, let's see. Uh, you know what, I'm actually just going to disable you. Because we do have apparel over here, do we not? Yeah. Yes. There we go. We're, we're very slowly... Uh, ...getting things set up. Very slowly. But it is... it is happening, so, you know, let's, uh... That's something. As we clear these out, we can uh, get towards finally converting this space into our um, our extra large freezer. Actually, let's make this important, and we'll also allow uh, yeah finished meals in here. That way, we stop hauling them out here, which I don't want you to be out here, but. Because I haven't expressly disabled it, apparently that's what's going to happen. You know, between episodes I'm going to have to organize all this. We'll, we'll get it taken care of at some point. You know, between now and the heat death of the universe. 
All right. Oh, and we can definitely get rid of that now. We don't need stuff lying around. Though we will need special places for furniture, because you can't store furniture on uh, shelves anymore. Pretty sure you used to be able to, but now you can't. And I guess I kind of get it, but it is like many things in RimWorld. You know, it's a thing, but it's also kind of annoying, but not that big a deal, I guess. Well, I guess nothing left to do but, you know, zoom out and let the colony kind of manage itself for a little while. Well, well, well. Katja's great granddaughter? Is that what the relationship was? No, her regular mother. Uh, League of... Can I... I guess I can't really capture you. Kind of want to, but... You know, that's, uh... You know, that was, uh... That was what this... This game could have been. You know, a mother-daughter pair. But you know what? Maybe our next, uh... I've got a couple of ideas for our next playthrough whenever we, you know, get around to doing that. Is there a reason why you guys aren't uh, working on this? Also, are you only hauling... Okay, just... just that, alright. Anyway, uh, I was kind of thinking that a neat playthrough would be to play as, like, literally just a family. You know, disable all of our uh, events that give colonists and just play as, like, a little family and see what happens. I mean, I guess that would be actually kind of hard, come to think of it, because it would have a shelf life. I mean, then again, I've never played a RimWorld game where colonists have died of old age, so yeah, maybe that's not that big a deal, but, uh, you know, at least something to bear in mind, I, I guess. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, I don't know. I think it might be kind of neat. It's like a... I mean, I guess it would be maybe a little too similar to this playthrough in the sense that it would be focused a lot more on the base building and just kind of quiet, uh... You know, quiet life sort of deal. Yeah, but it could be kind of nice. I don't know. Also, is there any more research I want to take care of while... We're just kind of sitting here. Maybe we should make some packaged survival meals. Basic prosthetics, that would be nice. Actually, uh... It does include a prosthetic leg, which would be a step up from... Uh, our current situation. Alright, good. So, the kid's, uh, slowly learning. You like to see it. Alright. Little colonies coming together. I like it. I like it a lot. And uh, let's kind of send this boulevard thing up like this. Maybe merge you like that. Oh my god. Uh, where's the kid? They kill the fox, first of all. Okay, the kid's inside, so we're... Possibly Iris. Oh god. Gotcha. Gotcha. Get in there. For the love of god, kill it. Alright, I think we can, uh, there we go. Oh boy. That was, uh, that was a little dicey for a second there. You know, I, I may not be the best RimWorld parent allowing our children to smoke space weed, but, uh, until they pass out when they're having a tantrum. It's really not good parenting all around, to be honest with you. Uh, yeah. Have we still not tamed this damn guinea pig? Oh, lordy. I have a, a feral guinea pig running around in Morgan's room. What a world. Anyway. 
Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to actually wrap this episode up here. Maybe a little, a little earlier than usual, possibly, depending on how we edit things. But, uh, yeah. Might as, might as well wrap up now before, you know, something horrible ends up happening. So, uh, yeah. Until the next time, everyone, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button, or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. I will see all you in the next video.